1984, back in the 80s, a plan uh, that uh, bipartisan globalists uh, had, had come up with, uh, in a way and others, uh, right along with uh, the, the uh, leadership of other countries that were planning to do it as well uh, in their nations. And it could be a nuclear war. It could be a larger Middle East war, which they're starting with ISIS right now. I mean, our criminal government's in the middle of starting all that with Saudi Arabia and others. A, a sectarian, again, civil war, ruling the diverse cultures of the Middle East with a sectarian Shiite Sunni civil war publicly started by the West. I mean, it's the same story. And they want to set up cultural divides here in this country, not let Hispanics assimilate and pick up the American culture that they wanted to get to, to own property, have guns, and be free, and, and replace it with a socialist Hispanic culture. I mean, who wants that? Hispanics don't want that. Hispanics, on average, at least Mexicans, it's, it's on record, run from welfare until now because they're advertising in the news, if you're a lazy welfare person, come here, it's a free ride. And it's just incredible. It's absolutely amazing. God bless you. Appreciate the call, Dre. George in Connecticut on July 4th. Go ahead. You're on the air. George, you want us to come back to you? Because you uh, aren't there, George. We're going to come back to you in a moment. Let's go to Jane in Austin, Texas. You're on the air, Jane. Hi, Alex. How are you? I'm doing all Thank right. You for Thank you so much for taking my call. I've been trying to get this information to you for just a little over a year now. Um, I'm a longtime listener, and I always hear you talk about them pushing the cashless society, and you always mention how it's happening in England. Well, it's happening in our own backyard. I live in Austin, and they built a new smaller Walmart right on Anderson Mill Road, and a year ago, and it's still like that today, um, I went in there trying to purchase some water shoes or something, and they informed me that that store does not take cash whatsoever, no cash. And I was floored. I'm like, oh, my God, this is what Alex has been talking about. It's here. And Where so, is that located? It's on Anderson Mill, right across from the Alamo Draft House. There's... The people in that neighborhood fought to have it built, so they agreed to build a smaller Walmart. It's still pretty big, but... It's that is huge news. Uh, uh, Texas Walmart only takes credit cards, or, or, or Walmart goes cashless. You're saying that's a Walmart? Oh, more. It's a lot bigger than that. When I went in there to purchase one item, I went to pay for it, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I'm like, so I started hassling the attendant that watches over the registers. I'm like, are you serious? You don't take any cash? And they're like, no, ma'am, nothing, no cash in this store. And so I started raising cane about it, and I'm like, what's going on? She, was like, she said, well, this is Walmart's test store. And um, so it's they never changed it. It's still cashless. Oh, that's but huge. here's the crazy part. When I went to pay for the item, on the screen, before it would let me purchase anything, it brought up on the screen like a three-paragraph contract. And it made you read all this stuff, and at the bottom was a button that you had to agree to it and press yes that you agreed that you would not pay cash, and then it would ring up the item that you had. I was just, I couldn't even speak walking out of there. I'm like, oh, my God. The Say that again. It made you verify what? It was a three-paragraph, a lot of words. You couldn't even read it all. And what it was saying was, I agree to this, I agree to this. Yes, I won't pay cash. I'm well, listen, listen, you can pull up the Washington Post from like five years ago admitting that Disney World is really a Pentagon testing ground of mind control to test controlled cities and that they developed the plan for Fallujah to control populations off of, I forget the name of it, it's, it's not Disneyland or Disney World in the U.S., it's some Disney community that I didn't even know about where you, where you like live in this Disney community. Uh, but, but the point is people can look it up and they admitted that it's a PSYOP and they were also doing it in Disney France or Disney EU. That is just incredible that that happened. I, I believe you. We're going to send reporters there. That is that is so huge. We knew all this was coming. Uh, Israel announced last month they're going cashless. England announced last month they're going cashless uh, back in June. This is the contr total control paradigm 
uh, that we're dealing with, uh, Jane, and they mean business. And then again, once you're cashless, they can force you to do whatever they want, take money out, charge you, fee you, track you, totally control you, shut down any underground markets that you would need under a tyranny. Next segment's coming up. We'll take more calls from Nathan and George. And in this hour, this original hour, doesn't mean it's live. I taped it on Thursday. I taped it right now on July 3rd. But you're listening on July 4th because even when I'm not here on a holiday, I've made the decision to be here on the holiday to give you original transmissions. We are not just the tip of the spear in the real new media. We are the hardest working folks in media, period. And we love freedom. We're like pit bulls that want to get in that arena and live to fight. Because Americans love to fight and love to be free. And we're not going to be losers anymore. All right, Jane, thanks for that intel. That Humat. Another segment with your calls straight ahead. We will never surrender. That earlier caller told me I was Paul Revere. We're all Paul Revere. We're all living history. Hey, uh, Alex, it's an honor to be with you, and uh, it's an honor to be uh, rebroadcast on uh, 4th of July. I'm probably one of the bigger patriots that I know of. Um, basically, I I'm a contractor here in Kansas City, and um, being a contractor, I see, the, uh, I see what happens with uh, the influx of, of cheap labor. Um, I say that uh, I live in Kansas City, but I tell you what, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Well, it's just like inflation. It drives down all the wages, doesn't even help Mexico or the third world countries. It just sinks us. It's like if people sink one lifeboat and jump in the next, they just sink it. It's ridiculous. You use built up wealthy nations that then make the nations around them richer, like Switzerland. Look, look, Ross Perot broke this down. The globalists want us poor. Exactly. It, it, it's incredible. Look at our wages going down. Look at the country going down. It, 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 it's, it's on purpose. Go ahead. Well, and, and, and kind of, I mean, just kind of uh, bolstering what you say, I mean, I spend my money locally, you know? I mean, I, I'm going in and I'm, you know, going out to eat and I'm, you know, tipping 20%, and, you know, I'm actually helping our local community. You're a terrorist. You know, I, I, I am. <laughs> you know what? I'm probably on that list, and if I am, I want to start by my name. Well, you know, that's another problem for the NSA. What happens when everybody's on the list? And see, we know the good guys are on the list. The bad guys aren't on the list. Thanks for making a list. Yeah, exactly. Um, one of the reasons why I said that I, uh, that I feel like I'm in the twilight zone is actually, as I was uh, uh, waiting to get on with you, I did some research. And um, see, now, I'm a, I actually live in Kansas City, and um, the NAFTA Superhighway Hub is here. Now, there's four different uh, branches of it, or four different spots, the Intermodal Hub, KCI International Business Center, Northland Park, Logistics Park, KC, Centerport Inter Intermodal Center, they're all ran by the Port Authority. No, no, no. They built a Port Authority up there to run all the goods up there to make sure nobody makes money locally. It's a great point. Do a YouTube video on it. Final caller, Georgia, Connecticut. Real quick, thanks for calling in. You're on the air. Yeah, I wanted to suggest that uh, we should get some guests on that, that teach us how to sue our representatives when they don't represent our interests on the border especially. Uh, and we should force them to basically send all those uh, tanks they're giving police down to the border and maybe uh, send the TSA or TNA is what we really should call them uh, to the border if, if uh, instead of molesting us in the thing. Sending all these people, including those military people overseas. But I wish you would uh, give uh, uh, Lord Mon uh, Mon Moncton, uh, we give him a new title, Lord and Savior, savior of uh, of global warming and, and put it on one of those those uh, what do you call it? light light uh, uh, sabers. It's a good idea. Now, Monkton has done an incredible job. I wasn't trying to grovel to him when I had him on the air uh, Thursday. It's just he's done so much. People just don't know how much he's done. And it's a testament to what individuals can do. All right, David Ice coming up from the archive. It's a powerful interview. Tell your friends and family to tune in, and I'll see you back Sunday, four to six p.m. Great job to the crew. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.
the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.